everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video in partnership with Tentree. So if you guys aren't familiar with the brand, it's a brand I've worked with quite a bit before. They are based in Vancouver, Canada, and they are a brand that really values sustainable production of clothes. So all of their clothes are made from either recyclable material or sustainable materials. And for every piece that they sell, they actually plant 10 trees. And they most recently reached their 50 million trees planted goal. And now they're moving on to their 2030 goal, which is to plant 1 billion trees. So to help them with that goal, you can easily check out their site and help them by purchasing one of their items and they can plant 10 more trees. And this video comes just in time for their Green Friday sale where things on their site will be up to 50% off. So you're not only getting an amazing quality piece, you're helping them plant 10 trees and you're getting something that's on sale. It's also a perfect holiday gift because who wouldn't want to get like an amazing piece but also learn that the gift has actually planted 10 trees for them. So it's like a double whammy gift and I think it's an extra thoughtful piece to share with your friends and family. So I'll be walking you through some new code in the women's section but also the men's section because I know that there are probably some males in your life that you want to shop for this holiday season as well so let's get going so first up of course is this sweatsuit I had to start off with one of my favorite pieces so it's two separate pieces so the hoodie and the joggers come separately but of course they have like matching colors and you can make it into a set in the hoodie I'm wearing a size medium and it is like a more cropped style which is again why I sized up usually with crop pieces I size up so that it's a little bit longer I have a little bit more length so that I can tuck it into the waistband of my joggers because that's just how I like to wear things so for those of you who actually like things super cropped I would say size true to size and then in the joggers I'm wearing a size small I actually really really love these ones because I feel like they sit a little bit higher than the sweatpants in my previous videos they're like the gray ones they are a little bit lower rise and I do like things a little higher rise so I would say these are like a mid rise same size same small size but they are also a little bit more cropped in the leg as you can see it hits right above my ankle right above the booties that I'm wearing these ones are mostly cotton so it's like 81% cotton then there's recycled polyester and some spandex so there's definitely a little bit of stretch in these which makes it really really comfortable they're a little bit lighter as well not as thick as some of the like regular sweatpants and sweatshirts that they have which you'll see a little bit later on like this one so I'm gonna come up a little bit closer so you can see the details of the hoodie and the pants so the pants have the slanted pockets here like the other sweatpants did and there are no back pockets for the sweatpants and in the hoodie because it is like a cropped shape there isn't a kangaroo pocket so there's nothing really like interrupting the sleekness of the cropped hoodie it easily tuck in a ball you don't have a pocket there to add extra bulk which I like and then this is the material up close you can see underneath that it is quite a thin material you don't get the fuzzies that you do with some of their other sweatshirts and underneath I'm wearing one of their t-shirts from their plant collection it says plant right here I'm wearing a size medium as you guys know I like my t-shirts a little bit oversized and I think that the medium actually fits me quite perfectly the shoulder ridges are right a little slightly over where my natural shoulder line is but I feel really comfortable in it I don't feel constricted or anything all right so this shirt is part of their earth collection so it has this little earth guy showing the peace sign on it and this is the unisex sizing so this is a size small which fits like the medium or even a little bit wider than the medium I just showed you so that is something to note if you are ordering from this collection if you want it to size like oversized just order your true to size because this is a small on me and this one is actually organic cotton like 100% organic cotton so this one's 45% polyester 30% tensile and 25% organic cotton this is a little bit more of a flowier smoother fabric versus this one is your like classic t-shirt organic cotton material so like it's a little bit stiff now but it will get comfier over time so this is the piece sign up close I just think it's so cute and I think that it just makes a perfect topping to a cozy t-shirt and this is another option that is also a cartoon throwing up a peace sign so clearly I have my favorites next up are these pants that kind of remind me of like a denim version of sweatpants so these are 97% organic cotton and 3% 
100% elastane, which is a similar material as a lot of my jeans, which is why I bring the denim material up. They look very similar to the green sweatpants I was just trying on. From afar, you can see that they're much stiffer because of that 97% cotton and they really fit more like a cargo and khaki. So I really like how tapered the leg is. So like even though they're a jogger style pant, they are very slimming. Plus it is like a mid rise. So a lot of the time when I find pants like this, they are low rise. So they're not super comfortable for me. I like things that are closer to my belly button so that when I like bend down or whatever, like I don't feel like I'm gonna be slipping someone a plumber's crack. And the length of these ones are perfect. They sit right above my ankle where these booties fit and a lot of the other booties I have in my collection sit as well. So these are a great alternative for those of you who really like loungewear, want something comfier to wear that you can wear at home and outside, but you don't want to wear sweatpants in public. These ones are a great alternative and I definitely see myself wearing these a lot. I am wearing these in a size small and I think that true to size in these ones are a good that. Like I don't think I would size down because if I did then it might be too low rise if I sized up There would be like too much like wrinkling around this region So also there is like a kind of hidden pocket on the side here that kind of reminisces like a cargo pant Nothing on this side though Just like the plain pockets and then you have the two butt pockets in the back and this is the cotton material up close so next up is this waffle cardigan that actually has thumb holes, I just realized. I actually got this one in a size large. So I would definitely recommend sizing up in this because I would not want this guy to fit any smaller. I did wash it, though I washed it and had to put it in the dryer because like it just wasn't drying properly on the drying rack and it did shrink a little bit. So I mean, that's why I would say size up because waffle material, as much as I love it, does usually shrink in the wash. This is mostly organic cotton and tensile. I think it's like 56% organic cotton and then 41% lysol, like tensile lysol, and then 5% elastane. So it's super, super comfy. So this is actually quite a thin sweater, just FYI. There's not much thickness to it. So I would be getting this as kind of like an easy row on cardigan, not something for warmth, but more like a comfy layer if you are inside with the heat on. All right, next up are these leggings that are from Tentry. They're 95% organic cotton, 5% elastane. I'm wearing a size small. I'm going to admit I had a lot of issues putting these on. Size up in these, I would 100% order these again in a size medium. They feel so amazing on because it's 95% organic cotton. Like I love organic cotton leggings because they're breathable and I can I feel like they are just so much more comfortable than actual spandex leggings because spandex leggings for me, I feel like you get like a lot of static in them and I don't know, they're just not as good as cotton leggings and these ones sit quite high rise or like right at the belly button so I really like them. They're 5% elastane so you still have that stretch to them. But yes, I would definitely say size up. I didn't expect to have to size up so I went with a small. But anyways, that's just a little tip from me. And then this one is the plant sweatshirt. I bought it in a size large because I knew I wanted to wear it over leggings and it fits perfectly. I don't feel like it's constricting too much around the hip butt area and it covers the crotch area just right. So this one is more like your typical ten tree sweatshirt material, mostly organic cotton, some recycled polyester and tensile. So you've got the fuzziness inside the sweater that you don't have in the first set I showed you. So it just depends on how like thick you want your sweaters. All right, next up is a piece that I fully, I promise you fully had the intention of giving it to Travis. I even like gave it to him like when I got it for him to make sure that it fit, but it's too small. So Travis is normally a size medium and this is a size medium men's, but it was was way too small on him like I think he would need a large at least that means I'm gonna keep this one because I've already washed it it fits perfectly on me so what can I say it just is super super comfy this is kind of like your typical shacket material it isn't as thick the reason why I say that it's not like a hundred percent like an actual shacket because there's no wool in it this is a hundred percent organic cotton so essentially it's a really thick flannel which is what I wanted to get for Trav like I thought that he would really like it over jeans and a 
t-shirt for like for actual winter months because for guys like there's not too many or at least he doesn't wear too many different jackets or shirts so I thought this would be perfect and I think that this is still a perfect gift for him I just need to get him the right size so I feel like for men's especially for this jacket or shacket or shirt I would say size up because Travis is normally a pretty true medium but this one was too small for him so as you can see a little bit closer up, it is like orange and gray, which I think is a really, really nice mixture. Like I'm not usually an orange person and I try not to get Travis too much orange stuff because I just can't stand looking at it. But this is more of like a rusty orange and the fact that it's a gray and not black, it's a nice like neutral contrast. It's not super like black and orange like Halloween. So that's why I really, really wanted him to have this, but we're gonna have to get him a different size. And this is a little bit closer up of the organic cotton thickness and material texture and I keep thinking that there might be pockets but there isn't so FYI it is a true shirt it isn't a shirt jacket because there isn't a pocket here all right I also got Travis these joggers that are kind of like a athleisure material I'm not gonna put them on because they're definitely not gonna fit me and he's not here to model them for me but I think that these are a really good present idea because he can wear them on hikes on like our walks and stuff like that but also like dress them up for work sometimes because he doesn't work in like a super corporate environment so i think that these would be really good kind of like a dry fit material up close so you can kind of see has pockets has a hidden zipper here actually for secret goods i don't know and in the back it actually has like a zipper fly and a regular pocket i feel like these could actually be even like golf pants it's made of mostly reprieve polyester which i'm assuming is some sort of branded ten tree sustainable polyester but i'll leave a link to these so you can learn more about them and this is another piece that i had gotten for travis but again it's a little too tight on him it's a medium henley a men's henley and it's essentially the same material as the cardigan i showed you earlier it's just a different shape extra long because it's for men and i did get in a medium so it fits perfectly like how i wanted to over spandex so I'm sorry, I am going to be stealing this one too. I swear I didn't order the wrong size so I could steal these. I will be getting him replacements. If you also like oversized pieces, you can totally shop in the men's section. So it does have three buttons. It's not a super low Henley, which is great. And because it's almost winter here in Canada, I got some winter accessories to show you. This is one of the first ones. It is a waffle knit scarf, because you know I love my waffle knit. It's a little bit more gray than the waffle shirt I'm wearing right now and the cardigan, but essentially it's like the same family of like whitish gray. So this is the material up close. It's super comfy and soft. It's 100% organic cotton, so you don't have to worry about any itchiness happening with the fabric. This can go all up and close on your neck and skin. And it, I don't think it should bother you because I have super sensitive skin and it doesn't bother me. And to finish off the winter accessories, I also got this really cute pom-pom hat from Ten Tree. It is 50% merino wool, which is like one of the softest kind of wools you can get. I'm not feeling any itchiness on my forehead right now. And it's 50% reprieve polyester. So that combination apparently works for me. I took it off my head because it's kind of hard to show you the hat and then also see what's on the screen. So it has this really cute winter pattern on it. Pom-pom isn't removable. I just want to let you know because I know some are removable, but the whole point of this hat is that's super wintry and super cute. So the inside is a darker gray, which I appreciate because if you wear like any sort of makeup or anything, like it won't actually show inside the hat right away, if ever, because it's like a marled gray. So it's pretty good at being a stain hider. Got some scrunchies, you know, my hair is always in scrunchies when I'm not filming. I typically have my hair up because I can't stand having like my hair fall down when I'm like looking down at my phone or at my computer. And Tentry makes super, super soft ones because it comes from the materials they already use for their fabrics. So the thing I'm extra excited about is that I finally got my hands on some of their masks. So it's like a super thick cotton mask. It's two layers and it has an area for filters. And the shape is really nice. Like sometimes I find they come up way too high and because I have chubby like eyelid cheeks, it just like hurts sometimes and it just like puffs my eye up and I have trouble seeing. So this one's actually quite amazing. It goes under my chin and protects everything. My ears don't feel like they're being scrunched up. I'm wearing the size small medium. So I'd say if you kind of have like a regular size face, small medium should be good. I think the next level up would be more for like 
someone with a bigger jaw or men with beards. And I believe each one comes with like different kind of patterns, but more or less they're neutral patterns that go with the whole Tentry vibe. So if you like their clothes, the masks are gonna be great too. I didn't really think about how I was gonna show this when I ordered these, but I got these socks, which I'm obsessed with. They're super thick and really, really comfortable. It's like they are padded on the foot. The foot actually says, can I do this? Okay, it says plant trees on the bottom of my feet. If you guys can see me in the mirror, this might be quite hilarious actually. And last but not least, I got a canvas tote from their plant collection. It says ten tree on one side and plant on the other. I also know that they have a really cute one that I wish I had actually gotten is the earth one with the peace sign. They have it on a bag, so that one's really cute too. This one will fit my laptop, books, and clothes and like probably two or three, two outfits I'd say. So this is a really good size one without being like super bulky. All right, and that's a wrap. We are running out of sunlight, but I hope that you enjoyed this Ten Tree haul and it gives you some good holiday gift ideas. Take advantage of the Green Friday sale. I promise you, whoever you gift these things to will be very happy, even if it's yourself. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you very soon.